Every day, millions of food goes to waste at thousands of restaurants across the country. That's right, millions of food. Food waste is a huge issue, and so is this food waste, am I right? <laughs> No, but it's serious. However, the other day I found an app that lets you buy restaurant leftovers at the end of the day for like 75% off and immediately I was obsessed. Honestly, maybe a little too obsessed. How it works is that you don't know what you're gonna get. The restaurant just like decides what to give you. So it's a mystery box and it sort of introduced this gambling element. My addictive personality already loves a good deal. So when I found this app, it got dangerous pretty quick. I started hiding it from friends and family. I'd be leaving functions early. I'd be like, uh, I know it's nine o'clock, but I actually have a pickup window at a bakery. So I haven't been using it for a while, but I I do feel like it can make a fun video. So today I'm gonna only eat restaurant leftovers for a day and or only eat restaurant trash for a day. I haven't decided what I'm gonna title this, but a bunch of random restaurants are a part of it. So today I thought we would go to them, see what we get and see if it's good. I can't wait, it's so fun. You pay like $5 and then you get like a box of random shit from a restaurant. I can't wait. I love a good deal, especially in this economy. I've been trying to be a little more smart with my money, which brings me to the sponsor of today's video. Y'all, we got a sponsor. Thank you so much to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video. guys. Lately, I feel like life is so expensive and it just keeps getting more expensive. In the past couple of years, my car broke down so I had to get a new one. I turned 26, so now I'm paying for my own health insurance and now my landlord just raised my rent. So more than ever, I've been trying to stay on top of my finances and cut down on unnecessary spending. And thankfully, today's sponsor, Rocket Money, is here to help. If you don't know, Rocket Money is the all-in-one personal finance app that helps you cancel subscriptions, lower your bills, and overall just manage your money better. I've been using Rocket Money for a while now. Literally just this morning, I opened the app and I saw that my Wi-Fi bill is now $20 more expensive for some reason. Spectrum didn't tell me that. Without Rocket Money, I probably wouldn't have even known that, but trust, Spectrum's gonna be getting a call from me later today. But for other subscriptions I wanna cancel, I don't even need to make that call. One of my favorite Rocket Money features you might have heard of is the cancel unwanted subscriptions feature. Guys, when you set up Rocket Money, it'll automatically identify all of your recurring subscriptions. And you know, sometimes you start a free trial and then you just completely forget about it and then you find out later that you've been charged for months. It's happened to all of us. But if you see one of those, you can cancel it so quick and easy, literally from the Rocket Money app. With just a couple of taps, Rocket Money will cancel that subscription for you. So if you don't have to go deal with that customer service, Rocket Money will literally just do it for you. That feature is truly such a blessing. They make it so easy and Rocket Money has saved its customers up to $740 a year. Hello. Also, like I said, I've been trying to be more careful about how I spend my money and Rocket Money will analyze your spending habits to help you create a custom budget that works for your lifestyle. They will automatically monitor your spending by category and you can get notifications when you've exceeded any limits. The app is free to download, but they also have a premium subscription that unlocks even more features. If you're not already using Rocket Money, what are you doing? Get on it, girl. Check those subscriptions. Highly, highly recommend that you take control of your finances today, guys. Go to rocketmoney.com slash andrewlau to get started for free. Or click the link in my description. Thank you so much to Rocket Money for supporting the channel. Thanks to you all for hearing them out. Go give them a try. Sign up with my link in the description. And okay, let's get back to the video. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, it's breakfast time. So the first one we're gonna go to is Phil's Coffee. Sometimes they give a little description about what might be in the bag, but this one doesn't say. It just says it's a surprise. Maybe we'll get pastries. Maybe we'll get coffee. Maybe we'll get honey packets. <laughs> Who knows? Let's go see. Phil, what do you got for us? We gotta get there quick too, because if you don't make it in the pickup window, they do just throw it away. <laughs> I hope whatever we get is good. I'm a little afraid we might be getting a lot of stale pastries today, but we'll see. It could be coffee. It could be like a little sandwich item. All right, y'all, I have arrived to beautiful Hollywood. Phil's is right there. What are we gonna get? Who knows? Let's go see. We got the goods, y'all. Says here on the bag, too good to go, April 17th. Is that today's date? April 17th? That was three days ago. Um, <laughs> all right, well, let's see what we got. Okay, some bagels, nice. Two bagels. Two other kinds of bagels, nice. Looks like this is like a cheese one and this one's an onion. Oh my God, y'all, it's a cookie dough croissant. <laughs> Literally two videos ago, I said people should start stocking these. Wow. Okay, a cookie, cookie dough croissant. And lastly, a little muffin thing. Okay, so no coffee, that's okay. April 17th. That's interesting. <laughs> they really, they've really been hanging on to that. It's always so funny going in and being like, I'm here for a too good to go pickup. Because <laughs> I feel like the workers are just like, Okay. <laughs> yeah, we we're gonna throw this out, but here. Honestly though, for $4, not a bad deal. I'll take it. All right, let me go find somewhere to sit and eat and enjoy our breakfast. All right, breakfast is served or was served three days ago. I'm excited though. These bagels honestly look divine. Okay. Oh my God, there's mold. <laughs> they ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Uh Oh my god, it's literally covered in mold. What the hell? I was so excited. That's literally mold. All right, not off to a good start. <laughs> I guess I won't be eating these. Right. 
Right, okay. But let's check the other bagels, I guess. Okay. Looks like these are like an onion, poppy seed, sesame seed situation. I'm not seeing any mold, so that's good. I think, hold on. <laughs> All right, yeah, no mold on this one. Let's give it a bite. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's probably my least favorite bagel flavor and it's very stale. I'm not rocking with it. Wow. Yeah, this is trash. <laughs> this should be trash. <gasps> oh my God. On this other one, I'm starting to see a little bit of mold. <laughs> All right, never mind. I do not want to eat these. Wow, y'all, not off to a good start. I will say I've never gotten moldy items in the times I have done this before. But, all right, what about this little like grain bar? All right, not bad. No, not moldy, so that's good. It does look kind of dry as f cute. Okay, I guess it's like a carrot cake oatmeal breakfast bar situation. Yum. <laughs> Delicious, not bad. I can't believe there was mold on that bagel. I'm so mad. Cause the bagel looked so good. I really wanted to eat it. <laughs> but this is cute. It'd be nice with some coffee. Cute. <laughs> A girl who handed it to me had like this weird smile on her face. And now I'm like, bitch. <laughs> Did you know there was mold on that? Yeah, this isn't bad though. This is nice. All right. <laughs> and last up from Phil's Coffee, we have the cookie dough croissant. Let's see. How's it looking? Okay, cute. Kind of looks like shit. <laughs> All right, I love a croissant. Is there more in the middle? Oh, there is. Oh, wow. It smells like that cheese bagel. <laughs> All right, well, let's give it a try. Suddenly, I'm rethinking this video. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> the cookie dough in the middle is really gooey in a way that's kind of scaring me. I'm like, has this cookie dough just been uncooked sitting on a shelf for the past three days? <laughs> yeah, not off to a good start. I think I'm done with this one. Yeah, I don't trust that. <laughs> All right, wow, sad, truly sad. Yeah. Well, a full day awaits us. Let's see what's next. All right, next up, I'm gonna go to a place called California Fish Grill. Never heard of this place before, but it describes it as a surprise bag of sides. It says it will likely consist of three side dish containers, including but not limited to rice, kale slaw, roasted corns, and clam chowder. Clam chowder. I do not want three day old clam chowder, <laughs> but let's go, let's see what we get. A little lunch, a little lunch, if you will. Oh my god, my hair looks insane because I was just blasting the AC. <laughs> Reminds me like when I was 16 in the Bronx. But all right, I have arrived at California Fish Grill. I have never been here before. Honestly, never even heard anyone talk about it. Who knows? Let's see. All right, y'all, we got the goods from California Fish Grill. It is three warm containers. It honestly kind of took them a suspiciously long time to get the order ready. And it's pretty warm, so I'm kind of thinking that it might have just been fresh. One can hope after the first one. All right, what is this? Okay, we have some kind of bean soup. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's beans in some liquid. <laughs> Cute! Okay, and it looks like we got a little salad. How delightful. A little fresh moment. What a balanced meal. <laughs> All right, and then... Oh, there's there's four. I thought there were only three. Ooh! Some roasted zucchini. Smells delicious. And lastly, it looks like they just gave us some rice. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, honestly, delightful. For only $5? Like, not bad. Okay, first, let's try the salad. It looks like it's just a little kale cabbage slaw. Cute. Yeah. Uh, how refreshing. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Delightful. All right, we're redeeming ourselves. All right, now let's try the bean soup. Or is this soup or is this just like a side of beans with a lot of liquid? I don't know, but let's try. Um, yeah, that's beans. <laughs> that is definitely just a side of beans. That is not a soup. And if it is a soup, it's a very sad one. Not a lot of flavor going on, but not bad. Ooh, honestly, I'm gonna mix some of the rice in. I feel like that'd be good. Soak up the sauce a little. <laughs> This video feels insane. Mmm, lunch. Mmm, trash. All right. Oh, hell yeah. Delightful. Wow. Did y'all hear that? My stomach just made the weirdest noise. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's hope I survive this video. All right, last but not least, let's try the zucchini. This looks delicious. It's looking nicely browned. So they got some rosemary on it. All right. Oh, fresh, delicious, delightful. Yeah, this is very nice. What a cute little lunch. Okay, California Fish Grill. Oh, they're serving fish. They're serving c all right, I need to go pee <laughs> and hopefully just pee. I'm starting to feel stupid for eating anything from that Phil's coffee bag. <sighs> All right. But yeah, California Fish Grill, 
delightful. All right, the next one I got was Le Pain in Studio City. Pick up between 4 and 5 p.m. It says the bag may include an assortment of baked goods and pastries or items like sandwiches, salads, soups, and granola. We'll see. Hopefully, since this one's like a cafe vibe, we'll get some redemption for the Fields coffee. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest, there's not a lot of them on the app today. Like, normally I see a lot of like pizza and pasta restaurants also doing it, but right now there's none of them. So it might be a lot of bakeries, y'all. But all right, I'm like 15 minutes away. Let's go! Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I do feel a little <laughs> off already. I've what, no, all, all my friends and family told me not to film this video, and here we are. The things I do, all in the name of internet comedy. All right, see you when I'm there. Oh my gosh, y'all, I am here, and it's literally right next to a Phil's Coffee. <laughs> Feel like I'm gonna be forever traumatized. Okay, wait, I need to find parking. It's time to focus up. Hold on, let me turn this back off. All right, LaPayne is right there. I'm gonna go get the bag. Oh. Okay, I'll be right back. <gasps> All right, I got the goods. She also just plugged everything right off the counter, so I know it's not three days old. Haul time, let's see what we got. All right, we have this thing, which, what is this? It's giving like a baguette mixed with a scone. Not sure. Oh, there's nuts in it? What the hell is this? All right, well, let's try. Huh, what an interesting food item. <laughs> what is this for? What it, Le Pain, it's like what, French? Can someone French tell me what this is? Why, when, when do you eat this? It's giving like biscotti, but in baguette form. Okay, not bad. It'd be nice with like a latte. All right, let's see what else we got in this bag. Okay, oh, a little a little biscuit pastry thing of some sort. Is this like a popover? What is it? All right, I'm just gonna, oh, okay. Whoa, wait, honestly, it's kind of giving like croissant. Oh, delightful. Wow. Yeah, it's like a little croissant muffin. Cute, yeah, that's good. I'm honestly kind of getting full. But so far, I feel like this is probably one of the best ones we've gotten. It's fresh, delightful. All right, and lastly, we have another strange pastry item. Not really sure what this is. It's giving scone, I think. Let's try. Oh. Mm. Delightful. Ugh, I love Le Pain. I remember in like January 2022 when the pandemic restrictions started easing up. The Le Pain by me had this like outdoor patio and I started going there to like work every week. And there was a hot waiter with a fat <laughs> oh I, like Papa. I don't remember his name <laughs> and I don't really know what he looked like because he still always had his mask on But I started to end up only going there for him because he'd come over and we'd like talk a little He'd be like, what are you working on? I'd be like, what are you working on? And I remember one day he like decorated my receipt and put like a little winky face and I panicked tipped him ten dollars for my coffee <laughs> Didn't leave my number or anything and then never went back but I did journal about him. I still wonder what he looks like under that mask. Did he have facial hair? Like, I have no clue. All right, sorry, you <laughs> you guys did not ask. But yeah, a little afternoon snack from Le Pain. thank you. Not bad. All right, we were off to a rocky start, but it's just getting better. All right, next up is La Colombe in Silver Lake. Hopefully we get a little more than just like pastries. I could really use an iced coffee. We'll see. Honestly, it's like half an hour away, so. <laughs> I'll see y'all when I get there. All right, y'all, I am here in Silver Lake. La Colombe is right up there. My stomach hurts. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not feeling too good. Hmm. Arrived. Now, time to look for parking in Silver Lake, my favorite activity. There's nothing. All right, hello. We got the goods from La Cologne. Moment of truth, let's see what we got. Okay. Honestly, by the weight of it, I thought it might have been a bag of coffee, which I would have preferred. But <laughs> it looks like it is just, oh. we got a bunch of bakery items. A little afternoon treat, okay. All right, first is this green cookie. I'm gonna assume it's like matcha or pistachio and not mold. Let's try. Mm. Oh, yum, delicious. Mm. Honestly, I don't know. It kind of just tastes like a normal, like, white chocolate chip cookie. I don't know why it's green. <laughs> All right, next we have this little thing. Hmm. What is that? It smells like, like, molasses. All right, let's try it. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> it's nice and moist, but I don't really like the taste. That's okay, though, because they gave us two more. We have this little almonds thing. Let's give it a try. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, there's like a fruit. Okay, cute. A little pear almond tart. Delicious. Tastes fresh. And last in the bag is some weird fucked up <laughs> green and pink little pastry situation. I have, I have no idea what this is. Or how to eat it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, I'm not really getting this one. What is this? What? <laughs> it's so thick too. It does not taste like something that should be sweet. The dough is giving like meat pie vibes. It's so hard to bite. Okay, maybe this one is a little stale. Hmm. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that pink icing is nasty. What the hell is this? <laughs> All right, I'm not getting it. I'm over it. This though was divine. Well, there we have it. A little restaurant trash afternoon snack. I feel like Remy the rat. <laughs> All right. Honestly, I'm gonna go home for a sec and get ready for dinner. Uh, what is this video? <laughs> Are you guys having fun? Cause my gut microbiome is not. All right, y'all, it's time for dinner. I'm running a little behind to my pickup window for this one. But next up, we're gonna go to a place called La Flor de Yucatan. It's like half an hour away. I don't know what it is, but I just looked it up and it seems like it's like a Mexican food spot. No idea what we're about to get, but let's find out. They seem to do catering. Oh my God, this shot is gorgeous. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in a, a music video. Hopped off the plane at LAX. That's what it's giving. It's giving California girls. Oh my god. No, it's giving homeless man. It's giving California homeless man. Y'all, I don't know what's going on with my hair in this video. All right, this place closes in 14 minutes and we're 20 minutes away. So wish me luck. We may be digging this one out of the trash. Oh my god, y'all, I'm stuck in so much traffic. Hurry! The time just keeps going up. We're gonna throw it away. Maybe that would be for the best. I like don't feel good. <laughs> the things I do for my art. All right, I genuinely don't know what part of LA I'm in right now. Oh my God, cute. Okay, but we're here, it's right here. We are 10 minutes late, so I hope they still give it to me. Let's go see though. All right, y'all, we got the goods. Literally no idea what's gonna be in this, but let's see. Okay, some treats. Okay. Little. I don't know. I don't know what these are. They kind of look like cookies, but kind of not. Then we have just a plate. La Florida Yucatan Catering and Bakery Anniversary. Happy anniversary. All right, well, I'm vegetarian, so I hope it's not meat, but let's see what we got. That is meat. That is just meat. Hmm. Well, <laughs> okay, it's like a little rice bowl. That's cute. It's either like chicken or pork. So I am not gonna eat that, but I don't wanna waste it. So maybe I'll give it to a friend later. But let's try the rice. Oh, oh, oh my God, that's divine. Wow. All right, and a little side salad. Wait, honestly, for like a meat eater, this would be such a slay. Cause this is like a full entire meal. And what did I pay? $6? That's really not bad. All right, they also have some black beans. Let me try that. Yum, yeah, delicious. Oh my gosh, this is good. This is not giving trash. It's giving food. It's giving meal. Oh, I wish the meat wasn't on it, <laughs> but. Oh my god, La Florida Yucatan slay. Absolutely divine. I'm gonna save this and give it to my meat eater friends. But oh my god, $6.99 for that and then this entire bag of treats. What a deal. All right, let's try these. I'm assuming there's not meat in them. I, what is this? It looks like bread, but also a cookie. Okay, not bad. It's giving shortbread. Cute. One with some sprinkles. Mmm. Oh my god, wait, they're really good. One with some rainbow sprinkles. Whoa, wait, I fuck with these hard. It's like half bread, half cookie. And honestly, that's like perfect, not too sweet. And lastly, a little, a little cupcake muffin thing. Hmm, oh, delightful and tastes fresh. Oh my God, La Flor de Yucatan. Am I saying that right? La Flor? La Flor de Yucatan. Yuc Yucatan. Yucatan. Well, Yucatan, La Flor was delicious. All right, that was dinner course one, but we have one more, y'all. One final restaurant trash meal from Guatemaltica Bakery. I've also never heard of that. Let's look it up. What kind of food is it? Guatemalan. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I don't, What? what is Guatemalan food? Let's just go and we'll see. What an adventure this video has been. I told Kristen I'm filming this video and that my stomach hurts and he said, <laughs> Yeah, he does have a point. <laughs> All right, Guatemala Chica Bakery. All right, perfect. We are making it right at our pickup window time. The way I've literally been <laughs> just traveling all across Los Angeles for six hours eating just the most random shit. You know what, guys? I've been making videos for 14 years and I'm still keeping it fresh, okay? You can't say this isn't original. All right, I will see you guys. <laughs> this Western Union that's just called Please. <laughs> Please. Hope everyone survived tax season. All right, let me shut up. I'll see y'all when I'm there. All right, y'all, the sun is going down, but we are here. This place is big, too. Oh my God, and they have a parking lot? Hell yeah. This place looks very cute. I'm excited. Genuinely don't have a clue what we might get, but let's see. All right, y'all, we got the goods. Sorry, the sun is like fully down. Let me see if I can <laughs> ring light. <laughs> All right, honestly, this is a lot of food. Once again, it's like a full meal. A little, a little, uh, Piece of bread? <laughs> What's the word? Roll. I was looking for that word. Honestly, looks pretty good. Delightful. Yum. All right, and then next we have something in here. <laughs> I love this container shape. Never seen something like that. Oh, okay. Um, what is this? <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Okay, these look like fried plantains, I think. Let's try. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. This, I don't know what this is. It's also really heavy. <laughs> what is this? Whoa, oh. What is this? Are those beans? Some kind of sweet bean bread? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I wonder if this is like supposed to be the dessert. But here we have what I assume is the main course. Let's see what we got, y'all. Moment of truth. Oh. What is that? Okay, some rice and some vegetables. Love that, very classy. This, I don't know what this is, but I'm excited to find out. Is it meat? That might be meat. Is it meat or bread? Oh yeah, that's meat. That is just meat. Wait, is it meat and bread? What the hell is this? <laughs> All right, well, I, I will not be eating that. Once again, I will give it to my meat eater friend, but let's try the rice. Ooh, spiced nicely. Okay, and the veggies. Mm. Ooh, delightful. This rice is really good. All right, well, kind of a disappointment that it's mainly just two big hunks of meat. But once again, I mean, this all was only like $6. So this is kind of a sleigh. Wow, we started off on a real bad note. First one of this video was just moldy. But these last two are very classy. Once again, it's not giving trash, it's giving meal. Yum. Delightful. I'm obsessed with this with this little bun. All right, Guatemala, thank you very much. But all right, y'all, I guess that is all of the restaurant trash we will be eating today. These plantains are good. What a time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been on my video ideas list for months now. What a trip. It's fun, right? Like $5, a little mystery meal. But yeah, all right. I guess that is all for this video. I do feel very heavy, like I need to go. I feel like trash. If we're, yeah, if you are what you eat, I feel like trash. Those last two were slays though. Phil's coffee though, we got beef. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I guess, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. <gasps> My favorite time. Oh, okay. I thought we were gonna do some red light therapy, but that ended pretty quick. Here we go. Oh, the card's full. And honestly, it's for the best. All right, bye.